Greetings, dear listeners. Won't you join my banquet table for a spell? Well, not this time, you bunch of freeloaders! Get out! Get out now! Every episode is the same damn thing again and again! I invite you all over to eat, and you eat all the wonderful, exotic foods from foreign places you've never heard of that took hours upon hours hours to prepare, and then none of you stick around long enough to help clean up. Well, not this time, baby. Get your own banquet, which probably won't be as awesome as mine. That's what you get. Ha! Your way to beautiful girl. That's why it'll never work. You have me suicidal, suicidal, when you say it's over. Okay, so many of you have seen the, uh, the painting that um, adorns the front page of the Fruits Basket website. And so I recently, only recently, got the, um, the full painting in the mail. Uh, it was a, uh, a long and complicated process of annoying PayPal stuff and uh, back and forth and fun stuff like that, which I love uh, Caroline to death. It wasn't her fault. It was... Uh, we were just sort of like laughing at each other like, yeah, this is really silly, but eventually, eventually we will get this to the mail. And yeah, I had this commissioned and I just thought I um, might give you all a closer look at it and kind of look at it all the way down because there's some people, I occasionally get questions for like, who's that in the, and I won't be spoiling anything, but who's that supposed to be, who's that supposed to be for people who just listen to the, the audio version of the story. And um, just the beauty of the detail here, when I first asked Carolyn to make this, uh, I pointed her to the, um, there was a 25th anniversary Zelda uh, commemorative thing. There's like this huge mural that was like uh, yards and yards long and it just, it just started at the top and kind of evolved into other stuff as it went down going through all the games and I said well something like that only on a smaller scale with uh, happy emotions at the top, um, principally Kyo and Toro and Yuki. Uh, near the top, and then as we progress down into the darker characters and the characters you get the, the darker arcs and the, the more messed up stuff, um, featuring uh, Akito at the very bottom with, with, a, with a knife, which is uh, not, not spoiling anything, it's thematically appropriate much, much later in the, in the story. And, um, yeah, so I just thought I would show it off in a um, nice little detail. She came up with all this amazing detail, the, the, the two conjoined little sun things there and uh, Kyo and Toru here together and um, this is little symbols of the zodiac that go all the way around the sun which is really cute you just sort of like pick those out I was like oh yeah those are the zodiac symbols and who is that in the sun I wonder what, what character is that who, who could that be well, I won't I won't spoil anything except to say that uh, this character is omnipresent throughout the series so you may not notice him quite as much and um, 
So, so you, maybe you should know. Just, you know, apply a little thought, maybe you can figure it out. And then, of course, we have um, Ayame, who hasn't been met yet at this point in the story. Um, he's a laugh riot, and that's uh, Mine, his, his uh, assistant. That is, a lot of people had questions about, who's this supposed to be? That is uh, Toru's mother, Kyoko, who's, who's passed on, but is a huge focal point in the story, so she was painted in as well. This is Ritsu. Ritsu is um, uh, going to be mentioned in a uh, in the next... No, not in the next... Yeah, in, in one of the upcoming episodes, but we won't meet uh, her for a while. I heard, we won't meet Ritsu for a while, I should say. We should avoid using pronouns, as with several of the characters in this. Uh, there's Kagura. She's very enraged to see Kyo paying attention to another girl. There's Yuki, looking all smug and fun. And uh, here's some of the Yuki fangirls. And another character standing behind Yuki that I, I won't talk too much about. She's uh, She'll appear later. Her name is Machi. She's not a member of the Zodiac. Here's Bomiji and um, two other kids, Kisa and Hiro, who we'll meet later. Hana and Uo, the Yankee and the, the psychic freak. I think everybody loves these two characters. You know, they, they sit on the sidelines for a lot. They're not in on the, the whole curse thing, um, but they're, they're pretty lovable. Kuruno, who we have yet to meet, he's also, as you can see, he's hiding here, and he's sort of close to Akito, and he's kept kind of close to Akito's chest until much later in the story. And there's Haru. This white and black Haru. Muhaha. I like that he has devil wings. And, uh... Hattori with his quote-unquote emo hair, which is not really fair. He, he grew his hair out that way for a reason. It's not just because he's grumpy and emo, which he can be, though. And uh, Kana, it's, uh, his, his lost girlfriend, who has a pretty minor role in the story, but I think everybody remembers it so well that it's fitting she be included here. And this is Rin, who I can't say too much about. She appears much later in the story. It won't be a wh it'll be a while before we meet her, but Rin slash uh, Isuzu. And Shigure, yeah, Shigure's all the way down here at the bottom now. Why is that? Why is he all the way down at the, the dark, gloomy bottom of this? He's such a cheery fellow, right? Well, we'll learn a lot more about him in epi episode 16 that might kind of hint at why he's on the darker end of the spectrum. I will not say, I will not even hint who, uh, who that is behind him. We'll just, we'll just leave it at it says shadowy woman, and we'll leave it at that. And Akito. Oh, he's a gloomy one, isn't he? So, anyway, just thought I'd give you a look at the look at the painting up close, and uh, talk a little bit about it. And um, now on to sillier things. Um, I didn't uh, come up with the idea for this. Liam, who plays Haru, just sent it to me one day, and I said, "Oh my God! Well, now I have to share this." But um, it. <laughs> I have to share this, but I don't know if you I don't know if you guys are going to um, be happy that I did. Let's just put it this way. If you don't like memes, son, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> and uh, without further ado, I gave you this rope to hold At first you thought I was old While Yuki still had a cold When I got in their way And now he's starting to kill We don't know how we will heal The worst he's starting to feel When I got in their way You were the right one You were the only option The only one the curse would work on No, I can't say I hated it, baby Hey, I just met you And this is crazy but we gotta save Yuki, so hug me, baby. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But we gotta save Yuki, so hug me, baby. While a ginger cat boy tries to beat me, we gotta save Yuki, so hug me, baby. I'll do whatever you need me to. I can't read. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay.